This is the perfect situation for the phrase, how'd that get there? I'm Aaron, and I'll tell you about it on the input. There are many things to be found in the depths of the Great Lakes. Zebra mussels, that cell phone you dropped while on your Uncle Craig's boat on 4th of July weekend, the Cleveland Browns' chances of ever having a winning season again. But a few weeks ago, a team of shipwreck hunters discovered something in Lake Superior that most people thought to be lost to the ages. A locomotive from a derailed train? What? Canadian Pacific Railway locomotive number 694 was found in Mink Harbor off the coast of Ontario. On June 9, 1910, the freight train, which consisted of the locomotive, several boxcars, and a tender car used to carry fuel for the locomotive, such as coal or wood, crashed into the rocks covering the train tracks, which sent the train careening down into the lake 60 feet below. Three members of the crew died during the wreck, one of which perished as he jumped out of the train to avoid the 60-foot drop into the rocky waters. Most of the wreck was discovered in 2014, but the locomotive remained elusive. Like me, when my mom whips out her camera in public places when we are on vacation. The wreck was discovered by ROV, Remote Operated Vehicle, and initially the crew had hopes to raise it to display as a historical artifact. However, the condition of the vehicle was in such decay that researchers decided to leave it where it rests, much like Joaquin Phoenix's musical career. But they aimed to bring up a piece of the train, such as a whistle or bell, to display at a museum in Schreiber, Ontario. 